Martin, before we get into the meat of the nut of the course and how to be a great podcast host, I guess the first question everyone has is like, why? Like, what's the difference? Well, what's the difference between a bad pod a podcast host what's, and a good one or a great one? And, uh, and kind of like, why should I care? I think it makes a huge difference, but I think it's important also that we have a good understanding of why we need to continually work on being a better host. Mm -hmm. um, excellent question. Makes sense. And I'm right with you there on understanding, having an objective of being a better host. Um, how long do you watch a movie that you don't enjoy? How long will you sit and watch a television show or listen to a radio show you don't enjoy? Many of us do podcasts because we have a message to share. We want to reach as many people as possible. If you don't reach them with some level of quality, they're not going to listen long. They're not going to come back. They're not going to refer. If you're a business, if you're a coach, if you're an author and you're using podcasting to extend your platform as well as profit, then you have business reasons, business reasons, excuse me, to get better and better. So if you don't get better, um, you know, you may be good, right? Like, and, and people like you the way you are. Um, but if you can get better, you can attract better guests, right? So often when I phone someone and say, hey, you want to be on my podcast? They're like, yeah, sure. That would be interesting. Do you have a link I can go to and listen to one of your shows? If they go and listen and they're a celebrity and they're a big fish and, you know, they're important in my industry, they're, uh, you know, a celebrity of, of Hollywood sorts, whatever it is, they're important to you. And they go listen to a podcast they may pick any random one out of the 10 you've done or the 1,000 you've done. And if it's not very good, they might not want to come over to your house and play. So it's important to get celebrity guests who are checking you out or executives if you're a business person doing a podcast for lead generation. Uh, also, just, you know, for personal motivation, like when you hear yourself, you're like, wow, you know, we like to improve. We want to improve. So there's financial reasons, there's personal motivation and, you know, personal development reasons. Um, you know, it's just, uh, why wouldn't you want to get it better at anything you're going to spend your time doing? If it, what's the old, the old, the old wives tale, not tale, the, the old saying, like, if you're, if you're going to do something, make it worth it. And the other thing is you can get more concise, get more information out in a shorter period of time. People are rushing. So the more skill set you have, you know, being more concise, more direct, being more organized, uh, learning not to make mistakes that make you look like a rookie is an important point, you know, why you need to get better. So you say, well, if you look at my slide, if you look at the painting or, and, and they're just listening in audio because you're doing an audio only podcast instead of with video, then you're talking about visual things the person cannot see. I guess what it comes down to is respect and care for your audience. If you get better, they will love you. And, you know, whether it's for profit or for pleasure or for a mission, uh, your community will love you. They will refer you and your podcast will grow. Isn't that what we all want? Yeah, those are all great points. And the one that occurred to me as I was listening to you is, uh, you know, you don't always get a chance to listen to your podcasts after you've recorded mm -hmm. them. And I think that's a really important thing to do, particularly when you're starting out. <clears throat> But it's easy to get into kind of the lazy, well, I produced a podcast, time to move on and not listen. And when you don't listen to yourself, then you don't see, oh, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. There's, right. a, there's a sort of evaluation that goes on, which I think is really important if you want to accelerate your growth as a podcast host. But the other flip side of that, too, is you can listen to some interviews and go like, wow, like that was really good. Like I did a really good job on that interview. And of course, that's going to increase your confidence in your self-esteem, which is always a, an important thing as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's like a momentum and it's like a domino, I always say, where it's like one thing leads to another. So perfect point, increasing your confidence. And what that does is it makes you more credible. Like if you're going to be in the media, we don't want to see an anchor person that's sitting there leaning on their hand going, yeah, you know. <laughs> here we are. I got to tell you the news. You got to be here. I got to be here. <laughs> Here's the news. I, nobody's happy with that. So uh, why not have fun doing what you're doing? Uh, uh, you know, like when you first learn to drive a car, you're excited. I'm 16. I'm going to drive a car and uh oh, it's not automatic. It's standard. It's a stick shift. I got to learn how to do it. You don't have as much fun when you're concentrating on the skill set. You know, you, you can't eat your donut and put on your mascara, Scott, while you're driving and, you know, and, and, and you're stick shifting. But once you can do it and you're still driving a stick shift, you can enjoy the ride. Um, 
to really improve a podcast, why do you want to get better at all the, you know, let's say the tech stuff, the volume, the lighting, if you're doing video, all that kind of stuff is so you can concentrate on your guest and be a good hospitable host. So you get the most out of your guest, you get the most out of the show because you're, you've got better at all around things on the show. I'm, I'm not pressing buttons. I'm not worrying about lighting. It's recording automatically, whatever. But also, I'm not thinking about how can I ask a better question. I'm up in my head. See where my eyes are when you're thinking and go, well, let me think about that. You're creating pauses in your podcast and you just start faltering. So the more natural you are, the better the interview is, the better the content. Cash is king, content is queen. So by having that, you'll, you'll do better financially, but also just the reputation of your podcast. 